Yes, you need you. Christopher Raven, Scourge of the West Indies, come in! This is as far as I can come in. Well, if you want to be rude, that's your business. What can I do for you today? I've got a fresh order of flintlocks around here somewhere. Oh, my old friend Lasso de la Vega has another matter that might interest you. Another matter, eh? What have you gotten yourself into this time? Me? Nothing! Old friend Lasso de la Vega, however, needs someone to collect a debt for him. He'd simply need to sail a little ways and speak to a man. Then maybe kill him. And a few others. Possibly quite a few others. I suppose I could use some practice. Who am I killing? Ha! I knew I could count on you. Old Lasso made a deal with some disreputable men. Now they won't pay, and when pressed, they made some evil threats. Real black magic type of stuff, if you can believe it. Voodoo? You believe in that shit? Me? Of course not. Bunch of rubbish, silly hocus-pocus for kids. No, Lasso de la Vega, on the other hand, he's a superstitious man. He figures it's best if you take care of it. 
We are talking about you here, right? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Now, these boys are called the Brotherhood of the Black Wave. They fancy themselves some kind of voodoo vampires. You've got to be kidding me. Lasso de la Vega has always been a rather indiscriminate seller. Weapons for everyone, that's Lasso's motto. I've got the word of a good snitch that one of the miserable bastards has been hanging around the tavern in St. George's. Start looking there. This is starting to sound like a real headache. Onward and upward, friend. Onward and upward. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some business to attend to. Best weapons in the Caribbean. Christopher Raven. The Black Peacock of the West Indies. Break any hearts lately? I don't ever recall breaking yours, Maria. <laughs> you thought I was talking about myself. I have a new girl, Chris. She seems to think she knows you pretty well. I've met plenty of your girls before they were yours. You don't need to tell me every time one of them ends up working for you. How about this latest one? Red hair, sad green eyes, a recent conquest of yours. The poor girl, so nervous, she's almost terrified. So pretty, though. Even if I did have to teach her how to dress, so to speak. We cater to most tastes, but we don't get many requests for nuns' habits. Charlotte. Oh my, you even remember her name. She should be flattered. Actually, you can see for yourself if you're so inclined. She's in today. Never would have figured she'd end up here. I mean, after all the talk about religion and souls, she marches herself into a whorehouse. Not just a whorehouse, Chris. The best brothel around. If the Princess of Turin ever falls on hard times, I'll expect her to come knocking the next day. 
<laughs> Guess Queen Anne would be a little past her prime for you, huh? <laughs> Many girls in the Caribbean could do a lot worse than staying with me, Chris. Many are doing far worse. Won't hurt to say hello. Hurt being the key word. She seems to have had plenty of that. Come in, sir. I'm available. Hello, Charlotte. Raven, what are you doing here? Maria. She told me you were staying here now. Staying here? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> hmm. If you're going to end up a whore, this isn't such a bad place to be, I guess. It beats changing bloody bandages and praying a thousand times a day. Oh yes, it's definitely not bandages that I touch these days. <laughs> well, I think you made the right choice. The right choice? You call this making a choice? Ending up as a, 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 uh, ending up here. Well, if it's so bad, you could always join another church. Where did that get me last time? Almost killed and eaten. And look at me now. Besides, the church was never my calling anyway. I just didn't know what else to do. And it was fine. It worked. Until you crossed my path. And after you saved me, and then what happened between us, it was almost as if I couldn't go and join another order. I can't. Not just because of you, although it was part of it. There was something else about that order that didn't seem right. It was almost as if that abbot Ogren was... What are you trying to say? You became a whore because you fell in love with me? What? No. Haven't you been listening? This... this place. This occupation. It's the only thing that doesn't seem... seems real in my life. It's the only thing that's not built on lies and bullshit. Chris... <laughs> Raven, what will you do now? Me, I keep going. What has possessed you like this? Just what are you chasing? I have a feeling it won't work out for you in the end. It's none of your concern. Chris, please don't leave me like Goodbye, this. Goodbye, Charlotte. Bedding a nun. 
Ten years ago, I might have been impressed, Chris. Of course, I know what you're capable of now. Guess you need your
I've been sailing these seas for many a year Spending me days spread in terror and fear But now I'm returning with gold and great stores It's time to retire and grab me a whore And that's no nay never Give me some rum no, nay, never, Here you go, no that's more. Seven Royales Or I sail with the devil no, never, heard any interesting no rumors? I've heard that the governor is very ill. Looking for love or a you know where I asked the governor? Tell me, we must report. I went to the mistress, ready to car rouse, and asked the fair woman for pussy on the house on its no name, never. No, nay, never, no more Will I sail with the devil Something or I don't never Never, 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 never,
guess you need... Tell me something. We mostly produce rum. Heard any? You ever heard of Santorio? The famous pirate hunter? I heard he was after a pirate named the Devil. You know where I can make. I have no idea.
I have a feeling Kensington's spices are not as bland anymore. In every crate. Perfect. Perhaps less so for the customers in London, but... Uh, oh well. By the way, Kensington has been summoned to a meeting. It appears that explanations are expected. Consequences may follow if he cannot offer any. Guess your patriarchs are getting tired of him. You're a smart man under all that pirate filth you cloak yourself in, Christopher. I take it you are ready to move on with the next step? The sooner, the better. I have long known that it is God's will that Kensington should fall, Christopher. And now in his wisdom, he has graciously confirmed it. By a miracle of his, you have obtained unexpected information that can serve us so well that we need only seize the opportunity. Truly, it is a time of great expectations. What are you talking about? The letter you have so skillfully secured for us, Christopher, it concerns money. Kensington's money, or rather, the money he owes someone. Our efforts have been paying off, and Kensington has felt the results in his pocket. He's been forced to quietly take out an emergency loan. And you're going to push the lender to demand the money right now? Close, but in fact, I was thinking of just the opposite. Poor Kensington has suffered so much recently that he could use a little relief, and we could provide it to him. What? Just imagine if the creditor were to suddenly disappear. He has no family, no heirs, no business partners. There would be no one left to demand the payment, and Kensington would be left in the clear. How the hell is that supposed to hurt him? Christopher, at some point, a man learns that money, once lost, can always be made back. But a loss of reputation is nigh impossible to recover. You see, the creditor in question happens to be quite well known in certain circles, including by a few patriarchs. Kensington isn't the first one to borrow from him. Now, if our creditor to, were to mysteriously disappear shortly after giving out a major loan to another man well known to the patriarchs, who might they suspect? And they'd give a damn. Some would. Our creditor is not only useful to quite a few of them, but well acquainted with at least two that I know of. Of course, they couldn't be certain. There would be no evidence. But they would begin to look at Kensington with distrust and distaste, and they would quietly make it known to others. They'd have to know about the loan, though. Didn't you say Kensington's keeping it under wraps? True. If only someone in the know could inform them of it. Someone who would do it anonymously, discreetly. Someone who would consider it his Christian duty to let the truth come out. That makes sense. But I want to hold off on it. Not too long, I hope. Weren't you the one who insisted on hurrying in the beginning? Do you think Kensington has deserved to have his debt cancelled yet, Christopher? Right. So where is that creditor? I do appreciate your assumption. You think I already have it all planned out, don't you? And you're right, of course. This will point you straight to the man. The outcome, I'm sure, will depend on how inventive you are. There is only one stipulation. He really must disappear. In other words, nothing must be left behind. What for? 
He'll be dead anyway. Precisely. But there needs to be room for doubt about his fate. Nothing nags to man so much as uncertainty. Doubts grow stronger the longer they last, Christopher. So if the man were to disappear, but some ominous trace were left behind, say his favorite hat drenched in blood, would it not make some people think? You know, for a rich and law-abiding man, you sure know how these things work. As the great Terence once said, homo sum humani nihil a me alienum puto. In a word, nothing that's human is alien to me. Sure. I can't set sail just yet. I'd rather you hurry, Christopher. The ship is still some distance away, but time stops for no man. I guess you need your... Get 
Lucha al buitre. Yes, you need your... State your business. Are you the governor? Do yes, I am, but I... I'm not... Hmm? I'm Captain Chris... Ah, uh, Captain... Raven? Christopher Raven? Who are you? You don't know me, Captain, but I know you. Hell, everyone knows who you are around here. But where are my manners? I am Juan Mano, humble merchant at your service. I've got things to do. Remind me why I need your services. It's what I can offer you, Captain. On my last run, I encountered some rather nasty characters trying to relieve me of my cargo. We fended them off, but I lost quite a few men in the battle. I've got more men waiting for me back home, but in the meantime, I've got too much ship and not enough crew. Sounds like a real problem. Captain Raven, would you be interested in buying my ship? It's a Galeon, newly repaired, and I'm willing to get rid of it for only 25... Uh, well, let's call it an even 20,000 reales. Lucky for you, I'm in need of a ship. If those repairs were done properly, you've got a deal. Excellent. I assure you everything is in order. Good doing business with you, Captain.
Yes? Sí. Cap and yes. We ex loco. Great. Pretty. Come on. Anyways. Stop. Okay. Excellent. Where is the ship? I will mark it on your map. It should be near Bridgetown. That's all I wanted to know. Bienvenidos, Capitan. How can I help you? Have you heard of any officer? Ask that. Bienvenidos, Cap. Nothing. you were looking for a job. I am Navigante, Navigator, name Arturo. What is your name? You pay, senor? My name is Captain Christopher Raven, and I can't understand half of what you're saying. Pay? Pay? You pay? Can't you speak English? And yes, I speak English, senor. But sometimes it is better not to show your hand right away, no? My name is Arturo Rodriguez Vázquez Molina, and I have been sailing with La Real Armada Española for 12 years now. You want to hire me? I am not cheap, Capitan. <laughs> All right, Arturo. I could use a good navigator, and one who can fight, too. I pay as well as you serve. So, show me what you've got. What are you doing here, boy? I don't speak to putos. Bienvenido. Have you heard? Ask that big fellow near the door. He's... 